welcome to Vintage Finds. I am sitting outside the uh, thrift store on Dundas Street East in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. <laughs> I'm going to be looking for some Christmas stuff. I went to the Goodwill earlier and I did not find any major Christmas things. But looking through the windows here, I see a lot of Christmas things. So I'm excited. Let me show you. Okay, um, obviously you can't really see because of the reflections in the glass but I saw stuff and that's why I was excited brought my own bag and newspaper and they thought I was stealing this cashier actually did a few other things that I'll tell you guys about in the video thankfully one of the employees recognized me so it was okay but there was more okay so this is their main seasonal section and I did see a lot of stuff here but I was looking for vintage stuff vintage Christmas decor or other vintage items and um, this was all quite contemporary so I picked up this Santa with the snowman and a couple of bunnies I think uh, it said made in China, so I knew it wasn't really vintage, but it had all the colors I like. The gold, the beige, the white. So I had initially picked it up thinking, you know, maybe I'll keep it for myself, but at cash, I left it behind. I was hoping to find some vintage ornaments, but most of the ornaments here were, you know, the plastic ones we find these days. There were so many Christmas lights here, like these icicle ones. I think if I had a porch, I would have gotten these. That would be really cool. Here I thought score, because I felt that they were like ceramic and I thought they were ornaments, but they were actually napkin holders. Still, I think since they're um your ceramic napkin holders it was a score because they were little angels and uh with a dress on or something <laughs> so they look cute and there's eight of them in the bag that you can't really see but once i opened the bag they were actually made in china so i mean i'll still put it in my booth but let's see so you know i found christmas trees like this and the other at the goodwill so i grabbed this one too since at the bottom it said 99 cents but um there was a sticker under the 99 cents and the lady at cash thought i had somehow changed up the stickers anyways what is this i put it in my car trying to figure out what it was but couldn't really figure it out so this um star i got for my own christmas tree because last time i got a star and oh nobody nobody liked it so I knew they would like this one so I got I grabbed it oh just realized this little mouse was actually a trinket box Maybe it was damaged, but I would have. I don't know why I didn't open it to look at it. Definitely vintage. I see a lot of tin boxes, like cookie boxes are jars i guess but i don't pick them up i don't know so i like this basket it seemed it had bells it seemed old but i wasn't sure about it like in terms of quality it felt like it might fall apart this guy was contemporary so i left him behind also very cute I thought this ornament was glass, but it was actually plastic. But I'm actually here to check. Oh, okay, so this star inside the box is vintage Sears, or I'm pretty sure it's vintage Sears. It has lights in it, it had the Sears tag on it. So I kept it, um, or I bought it, 
and I'm going to put it in my booth. Okay, so I like this little penguin, um, but when I turned him around, he was contemporary and made in China, so I left him. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. I found this tin box, kind of liked it, um, but at the end, actually just now, I was just like, you know what, I don't know if this is vintage, um, or if I should get it, or if people are interested in this, so I left it behind. Another turkey dish. This one wasn't damaged, so it was actually in good condition. So this is a candle holder and I really like the the art on there, the um, Christmas tree, but there was just one of them and I think it comes in a set. brass candle holder with Christmas trees on it? Heck yes, of course I was going to get it. Usually I like carved boxes, but this one wasn't even done that well. It was $3.99, so yeah, no, I was going to pass on it. Copper coasters for contemporary, so I love them. This um, set of candle holders and little candles was actually cool if the candles weren't all broken. Still looking for cool candelabras, can't seem to find any. Could have grabbed those French onion soup dish thingies. Here's a donkey that was sitting in their, you know, secret cabinet, the one with the expensive stuff, for a really long time. Now he's out on a shelf. I think I like the cups in the back, and but they said something about you know England and we're really special and do not use us, so I left them. This angel, okay, so she seems contemporary, um, but I liked it, so I put it in my cart, but I didn't actually end up getting her. So many little doggies. I wish I had gotten one of them. Yes, it's a pineapple wooden. Don't worry, I won't get him. I didn't get it. See, I have self-control. This wall clock looked like a very 70s vibe. But I didn't want to. I didn't want to mess with it, based off of the fact that it might not be working, and then I would have to change the whole system. No. So this is a marble candle holder. I did not find a second one, so I left it behind. But otherwise, single cut marble. It's actually pretty cool. I feel like I stared at this for a really long time, like a really long time. broken candle holder other stuff that was very contemporary nothing too exciting for me at least finally a bell that says 1983 and has a very cute intricate painting design on it it was really beautiful 
so I got that, obviously. Nice Angels candle holder, never been used clearly, but it's very contemporary. So I really like this cathedral church candle holder thing, but it said party light and I know that's made in China, but I don't know if like this is for a vintage thing. I don't think it is. It's just, yeah, I looked it up. It doesn't really sell well. Here's a bunny. It's very contemporary. I liked him, but I left him behind. Okay, I have my eye on the cobalt and clear glass candle holders. Now I'm thinking, do I really need candle holders? I'm here for Christmas stuff. I need to concentrate. And there's cobalt. These were weird glasses. They were fluted. Super light though. So maybe glass. I don't know. They were weird, so I didn't grab them. Here I am trying to distract myself from the candle holders. And I'm like, no, I don't need them. I'm not going to grab cobalt blue candle holders. Of course I am. Of course I am. They're only $2.99 each. I think because I put so many of my things on top of the bag and then when I started unloading at cash, that's why she she thought I was like hiding more stuff in that bag <laughs> or something. I mean, she's definitely a new cashier, but yeah. I like this dish, but I feel like I have too much kitchenware in my booth, so I left it behind, but very pretty, eh? Don't worry, I'm just checking. It's just glass. I didn't think there was only one of them. This is a paper mache bunny, so no. Okay, the bunny again. Oh, and this is what I actually find. It's beautiful. It has like lines on the sides. The color is gorgeous. It's made by hand, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't have any markings. It doesn't have any felt at the bottom that would say that it's contemporary. And this guy is coming with me to my home on my bookshelf slash cabinet, whatever. These two were the cutest Japanese cups. I don't know if they were for sake or for soya sauce or something. But they were definitely coming with me and staying in my kitchen forever. The cutest little angels, but one of them had the halo missing, so I left them behind. This is one of the best folk art, Mexican folk art, um, pottery paintings that I've seen. The plate, I mean. <laughs> um, I don't know if this would be considered a painting. Anyways, it's the colors are gorgeous and so vibrant and there's so much detail in there. So I've never bought plates before, but I mean, I have one time, I think. Not like this. So definitely was going to grab it. I am just checking. I am not going to buy it. Don't worry. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know I'm obsessed with candle holders and I have way too many. So I've sold candle snuffers before and even though this one has weird beads on it, it looks old and it's still like cool. So I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna put it in my booth. So this was a tin jar. All of it was tin, even the top, even though it looked like wood. 
I don't know if I should have grabbed it. It looked contemporary because of the top. These were cool too. I'm not sure if they're like ice cream bowls or what. I think there was a set of three or maybe four. I can't remember. So I picked up this little tree that lights up. I thought it'd be cute on a task, but actually there's like a screw at the bottom that tells me that maybe it's supposed to spin and that it's broken so I left it behind a bag of acorns as ornaments no I wasn't feeling that This guy was quite contemporary, so I left him. Not sure about this one, but wasn't feeling it, so more plastic ornaments. Nope. So I found this. Okay, so I know I've seen this in other YouTube videos where these are vintage and they're German, so but it looked like it had a line, like it wasn't hand um, blown but I don't think it's supposed to be because I did some research and because I found a pair I was like okay gonna gonna get it and I did research and they look exactly like this so at first I thought it was a knockoff that's why I was trying to like really look at it because I see the the lines where it would be cast I guess but I was like you know what they look way too similar to the to the vintage German ones and they sell for quite a bit so A pewter angel candle holder this was a good buy or I think that this was a good buy let's see I'm gonna put her in my uh, antique booth and hopefully for Christmas someone's gonna buy her So I think so far I found some Christmas vintage stuff, but not ornaments that I was looking for, but actually I did find some. You guys just have to wait and see. Since you guys are going to see it, there's a wooden candle holder right there. I bought, I got it off camera. That Pringles tin jar thing, that caught my eye. I was like, okay, if I'm going to get a tin jar, better be this one but I needed both hands to check it out I believe it was like ridiculously priced so I actually didn't end up getting it here we are in that weird black section which has metal and other stuff just random these are brass um I don't know what to call them I, I know their name but I never remember and I found like three or four more but I didn't end up getting it I don't know if I should have please let me know I really like that this coke glass and it's colored um, but I was looking for at least a pair and I didn't find any so I left it behind okay is this a cow or a dragon it was actually pretty well made I don't know why I didn't get it it was odd and cute okay it wasn't vintage maybe that's why I didn't get it but so weird and awesome at the same time okay here's a bunny I thought finally I found a bunny that's vintage for my bunny collection that I'm thinking of starting. Anyways, uh, I have my hand on the chip. There's the chip. I still don't see it. Anyway, there's a chip on his hand, so I had to leave him behind. I don't know what kind of weird art this was. It felt weird too. It was like 
leather maybe i don't know it's weird I thought I found the coolest, gothiest, Victorian <laughs> candle holders, but they're Avon. So I'm like, okay, bye. I do like the red though. That was cool. These wings are crow wings from Michael's for the Halloween decor. Another triangular thing. Oh my God, did the other triangular thing go in this one? I don't think so. No. Here's the rolling pins for cookies. Um, and I was like, you know what? That seems like a good buy. I put it in my cart. And then while I was walking around, I realized, you know what? This isn't actually vintage. So even if you think you're going to put it in your booth, it's going to be a non-vintage thing in your antique booth. Like, makes no sense. cool ice bucket i have an exactly the same one so i saw that pepper shaker i was like that's interesting but the bottom was plastic which tells me it's contemporary and not vintage so i left it behind so this is bells and it's a wreath of bells should i have gotten this like this is odd and they're legit bells they're not fake bells <laughs> like they're metal maybe i should have gotten those nothing really interesting was happening in the wood section unfortunately Here, I am kind of looking for an MCM lamp because I have a really cool shade to go with it. Haven't really been able to find anything yet. I see colored smoky glass. Hello there. Okay, so I grabbed this lamp. It looked really pretty. And with the colored glass there, I was like, wow, this is actually pretty cool. Until I realized that it didn't have the little top part that holds the the lampshade on it so technically it would be useless so sorry my voice keeps crackling and i don't know if i feel like i'm like a 186 year old witch who is just emerged from her hut in the middle of the forest that she's lived in for a century Just doing a one last sweep to make sure I didn't miss anything. This was contemporary. This goblet was actually pretty cool, but there was only one of it. So yeah, I needed a pair at least. I tried to take out a carved tray, but then I realized, you know, I don't need another carved tray in my life. So I'm not gonna even look at it. Otherwise I might get tempted to buy it. There was a bit of a traffic jam here and there was a customer who didn't want me to go before them so I cut that part out though. <laughs> Anyways, more Christmas stuff. This is complete plastic and probably from the dollar store. This looked like a pottery cup but maybe a hobbyist piece because it didn't seem too well made and there was only one. More brass what are these trumpets horns whatever not sure if i should have bought these i like brass
Didn't really find anything here either. This candle holder angel thing looked actually pretty cool, but I know for a fact that it's like a home sets piece, so. Very pretty though. Could have probably gotten it for myself or to give it as a gift. Weird candle, you know the kinds that you would never burn? Like that kind. Found a bag of ornaments, finally. So I saw inside, yet yeah, one of two of them were broken, but the rest seemed like um, either handmade or old. So I'm like, okay, well I can't open the bag, so I'll just buy it. I think it was like $3.99. And I did find some cool wooden uh, ornaments in there that were like odd enough that you know, people might buy them. So they're going to my antique booth. Here's the art section. I don't think I actually bought anything here. Not that there wasn't anything. There's some really cool paintings on the top there. And some of them actually look original. So, and this flower one was really gorgeous. Anyways, if you were really into it or interested, you could have gotten those awesome paintings at the top shelf, which are usually original. Everyone should only come to the thrift store to buy art like, or any sort of wall decor like <laughs> I don't know maybe I'm biased but still the potential is it's there I like the boat and the water a lot <laughs> Here they are, glass ornaments. So I looked these up. They were $2.99 each at the thrift store. When I looked these up, they sell for like $35 individually. Um, there were six, but I only grabbed three. I don't know why I was making a decision to leave the other three behind. I don't know what was happening. Anyways, I got there were the the other three were white ones, and I put them back in there, and I got the purple ones. I'm gonna price them and put them in my antique booth because they're way too fragile to ship. But I think that was my score here, you know, because they're so pretty. I got this thing, but I actually didn't get it. I left it behind. I found additional candle holders. Yikes. For $2.99 each, they're really cute and they're great for like Christmas decor. I also got those picks for fondue pots because I have a fondue pot without the picks, like a vintage one. This one was like $19.95 or something, so I left that plate. Since I found these, I was like, okay, let me go over these shelves again because clearly I missed missed these awesome <laughs> ornaments the first time around. So then I found a basket of weird Christmas stuff. I kind of dug through it and found, I think, one more bag. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's the first one. It had a brass horse ornament in there so I was like yeah man that's definitely vintage I dug for more but I didn't actually find anything um, else so the napkin holders that I found originally early on um, the lady at the cash changed the price because she looked at it and said oh my god this is way underpriced so I saw in my receipt later on that there was a price adjustment and she had increased the price by a dollar i mean i don't mind it was just by a dollar but like it's priced the way it's priced like what i think that was it for my haul from the thrift store um, in my outro, um, you'll see that my lips are super white. Um, don't judge. It's my new ADHD medication. It gives me super like dry mouth and makes my lips like really white. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to figure something out. I'm also getting major crashes after the effects wear off and I get super depressed, but hopefully it'll change. So I just got done at 
the Salvation Army thrift store. My total was $62.97. Not bad for getting a bunch of Christmas stuff. Um, I think I'm basically done for my booth at the antique market and maybe some uh, for Etsy, the unbreakable ones hopefully. Um, somebody at Cash, it was a new cashier that I hadn't seen before, she was really surprised at the prices in the sense that she thought that they were really, uh, they were they're really cheap. And this is the one that I that I said was more expensive. This time around, yeah, I did find it to be a little more reasonable. I wouldn't say cheap because it's a thrift store. <laughs> um, like there was still stuff here for eight ninety nine, six nine ninety nine that I wouldn't I wouldn't pick up because it's way too expensive. Uh, but then on the on the flip side, I got a bag of ornaments and they looked quite vintage for two ninety nine, I believe, or three ninety nine. But there, it's a bag. You don't know how many of them are chipped or how many of them are in good condition. So I'm gonna go home, have a look, and see um, how everything looks. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to subscribe. Bye.